Hey everyone, this is VoiceOver Rhea, and welcome to a day in the life of an investment banker. So usually in the mornings, I wake up around 7.30 out of paranoia usually and start checking my work email and make sure that nothing crazy came in overnight. Um, And then I usually just try to go back to bed and wake up every 20 minutes or so to check my email until I do need to get out of bed. So whenever you see me checking this red phone in the video, that is my work phone. Right now I use my personal phone to record videos. So please like and subscribe so I can actually buy a real camera. Thanks. (laughs) Anyways, on this particular day, I had a call at nine that I had to listen in on. So I dialed in and was luckily able to take it from bed, which was nice since I did not have to take notes. So I listened in until around 10 and then was hoping to go back to sleep since I had been up till three the previous night but I'll let recording Rhea tell you what happened um over to you recording Rhea was gonna take a shower and get ready for the day but just got a work email that I have to attend to so I'm gonna go put my work uniform on and then make my daily commute got my work uniform on my wonderful comfy use the messy room but this is basically what i wear every day it keeps me cozy and then i got my blue light glasses i'll talk a little bit more about these puppies in a hot sec but time for the commute now huge work from home perk is being able to sit comfortably in my chair when we were in the office i would sit in business casual or business professional for like 18 hours a day and have to wear shoes and you know be all professional and now i just get to sit like this in my comfy and it makes such a difference and it just makes everything so much better So I was asked to put together a quick earnings release summary. What this basically means is that one of our clients had, you know, released their earnings, aka and how they had performed for the past quarter. So we go through and compare that to how they thought they would do, how the street thought they would do, and just put all that together into this little one pager. It's a pretty basic task, um, but for this one particular client, it ended up being a little more complicated since they had just IPO'd and some of the line items they had disclosed had changed. So we had to go through all the sources, see how everyone was calculating everything, standardize it, uh, that sort of thing. Nothing crazy, but ended up taking a little bit longer than we expected, you know, which is how everything goes. You never have any idea how long something is going to take until you actually end up doing it. Hey, so I just finished a first draft of the ask that I had this morning, so I'm gonna quickly send it. I have 10 minutes before I have to hop on a call, so I'm gonna use this little window while I'm waiting for comments to restart my computer because one of my plugins isn't working and quickly go take a shower and brush my teeth because I feel gross. Three, two, one, go. showered and got ready um gonna go throw my comfy back on when i get a second but just logging in um to dial into my meeting just turned some comments it's like one o'clock and i'm gonna go try to find something to eat before i get the next round of comments also never put my um, comfy back on so i'm gonna do that now found a leftover slice of pizza so i'm gonna have that and then i'm still pretty hungry so um i might try to find some more food after that but but i'm gonna have the slice of pizza and some salad While I'm eating that, number one rule of investment banking is always have your work phone on you. So this one's my work phone and I'm just refreshing my email. And then as soon as those comments come in, I'll go back and turn those or if I get another email, I'll know that. So whenever you see me on this red phone, this is my work phone. Um, And then I'm recording this on my personal. So I had a bite of this and I just got asked to work on something. So I'm gonna go upstairs. 
my food. Hello everyone, I'm back. I guess I've been here and you've just been watching me this whole time. Okay, so I'm still waiting on another round of comments on the same thing that I've been working on all morning. Everyone's juggling a few things, so I'm sure that when he gets to it, he'll get to it. Meantime, I wanted to take a couple seconds to talk to you about these wonderful blue light glasses that I mentioned earlier, and then we can go downstairs and find more food because I'm still starving. These glasses are my absolute favorite. I've been using them for years. They're from this company called Felix Grey. I'll link them down below. Definitely check them out. I got my first pair of Felix Greys, like my sophomore year internship. My eyes were hurting from staring at the screen all the time. And I noticed one of my associates was using these glasses. And I was like asking her about them because she didn't wear glasses. And she told me they were blue light glasses. It really did not take long for me to realize that my headaches started getting better. Like, like my eyes didn't hurt as much. It makes a huge difference. And I, this was the first pair I ever got, still holding up pretty well. These are from four years ago. I love these. But Felix Grey actually sent me two more pairs. So these are one of my new pairs. I think they're so cute. Oh, and cute. And then this is my other pair that I have. So you can see the shape is a little bit different. And I'm really bad at picking like good shape like the thing that looks good on you like i'm really bad at that but they actually have an email address on the website you can just reach out to them and like send a picture of yourself and they can help like guide you and they can tell you like these would look good on you and so that's what i did and they recommended these two and so that's why i got these two um and if you don't want to do that they also have like a cool like try on feature thing where you can like put your face on the camera it's like a filter and the glasses will appear which i thought was really helpful as well so Point is, I really love these, and I just want to say really quickly because I don't want to go on a huge rant about about them. There's tons of blue light glasses, but if you do your research, these are truly the best. You have to see how like powerful like the technology is and like what's working for you. If you're gonna invest in a pair of these, they're for your health. These like you, if you want glasses just for style, I mean, just get them and get a cheap pair or whatever. But like, if you want them to actually prevent your headaches. You want the most powerful blue light technology. And I'm not the expert on these. You can read about them on their website and do your research. And these are my favorite. And I don't know, you guys should get them. Link in, link below. And if you do, let me know um, which frames you picked and like, like send me a picture on ABCD Den because I want to know. I want to know. So my associate just called and gave me comments over the phone. So I'm gonna go through and make those, send him this next draft, hopefully while I'm on my other call. So that'll work out timing wise. So we're gonna do that now. I have 20 minutes before my next call. So I'm just trying to quickly PDF some receipts together for my admin to expense dinners. Um, one of the perks of investment banking is that if you work past, I think if you work past 8 p.m., which is basically every day, um, then at 6.30, you can order a meal um, delivery to your home, which is really nice because obviously you're working a lot, so you don't really have time to cook and all that kind of stuff. So you can expense it. Um, unfortunately, it does actually take quite a bit of back and forth to get some of these things expensed because we have to show a lot of detail and the expenses you have to show like an itemized receipt blah blah um but i'm trying to quickly knock those out while i'm waiting for comments before this meeting i've been chugging along for a few hours so thought i would come back and give you an update also took the comfy off so um it was getting a little warm um i'm going to hop on to a recruiting call whenever this kid calls me as I'm sure if you're watching this, you know, um, a, lot, a huge part of investment banking when you're trying to get into the field is doing these networking calls and understanding what the job is like and asking all of your questions about the team specifically and the bank and all those good stuff. So when I do have a little bit of time, I try to do those. Um, so I'm gonna do that and I, I'm waiting on comments still and then I have a meeting in 25 minutes. So if this kid calls, maybe I'll like take a walk for 15 minutes and talk to him. Otherwise, I'm um, going to just keep passively working on stuff that is not urgent. And the meeting I have in half an hour is for a drafting session for an IPO. So just to give you guys some 
context, we are just kind of working on refining the S1 with the company, which is a really cool opportunity to kind of see what goes on like behind the scenes really in literally creating this like legal document that goes to the SEC. And like, you think it's such a big deal and like so official and fancy. And then I'm literally out of school and I'm sitting here taking verbal edits and making them. And it's it's pretty cool to um, have that kind of um, responsibility so early in your career. Um, and I think that's the view you should have <laughs> when you're working on this kind of stuff. And um, it kind of helps you get through something that's a little bit more tedious. So yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. Hello, it's been a pretty productive day. As you can see, the sun's kind of gone going down. Definitely getting later. It is 8 Eastern, 7 in Chicago, and I am thinking about some food. So I think I mentioned this earlier, but we do have an expense policy here, so you can expense dinners. So a lot of times when you're in the office, this is super helpful, and you can just walk by the Sweet Green, which is next door, or whatever and like order delivery seamless what 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 have you now they're in the suburbs it's a little bit more difficult um to find stuff and like delivery and all that kind of stuff so sometimes i don't even bother um especially because i'm at home and my parents aren't feeding me um but yeah i'm just gonna figure out what i'm gonna this is dinner i'm pretty excited about it because i it's a lot of food and earlier i thought i was gonna get some time to i was gonna get some time to go find more food but never ended up actually doing that so super hungry and luckily it's been a chillish day so i'm hoping i can eat this not in front of my screens we'll see how long that lasts <laughs> i don't want to jinx it i put the comfy back on i've literally been eating for like five minutes um and got an email so i'm gonna go attend to that with indian food you can't really like eat it i feel like while i'm working so just scarf that down <laughs> really quickly and i'm gonna go attend to work Also, if you're watching this and you have questions about investment banking, how to get into investment banking, or like more specifically stuff about like my day-to-day -day that you think I should go into more detail um, about, let me know. Um, please leave me a comment and let me know. Um, definitely happy to make a second video or a follow-up video or a different one or whatever you want. So let me know. <laughs> This kid is gonna call me, the one I was supposed to call me earlier, um, now, so, yeah, I'm gonna go sit in my room for five minutes and then probably talk to this kid and probably get more comments and then come back. <laughs> that lasted four seconds and back, got a comment. <laughs> um, the whole thing about this is that that it's very, banking is pretty hierarchical in that I'll send something to, you know, my associates and my associate will send it to, will send me comments and then I'll send it back to him, reflecting those comments. And then when he's good with it, we send it to the VP and then the VP sends comments and then it comes back and the whole process starts over. And as you can imagine, there's like a bajillion iterations between that and like climbing up, okay, VP now to the director or to the MD or whoever, depending on how large the, the team is. And so when I say like, I'm getting comments, it's, not necessarily because something is wrong, but because they could have a different idea about how they want to present something. They could decide that like, okay, this is fine, but I actually want to get it from somewhere. The same information from a different source because it might look different or it might um, calculate something differently, etc. So a lot of times it's them asking questions being like, okay, where did you get this number from? Like, how are you calculating it? Is that apples to apples with this other thing? And then you're like, yes, this is how the calculation works. And you explain it to them. And they're like, okay, cool. I like that. Or they might be like, no, I actually don't like that calculation. Let's um, use something else. Anyways, I don't know if I'm just, if this makes any sense, but um, the point is there will be lots of rounds of turning something. So something that this morning when I was asked to do this was it sh this should be pretty quick always ends up taking longer than you think it will take. And that's just how it is. And I don't mind, today's actually been pretty a pretty good day, but it is, you know, one of those things like in any job I imagine where people are always like, oh, it should be pretty quick. And then it just never is as quick as you think it'll be.
finally got the go ahead to send it up to the MDs. So we're gonna do that. And then it's pretty dark. So I wanted to take this um, networking call with this kid um, outside, but it's pretty dark. Might do it anyways, we'll see. How's perfect? How's it going? Kind of get an understanding of what investment banking really is and I'm back from my walk and it is 10 Eastern and we are back on the grind. In the car so i thought i'll get some cheesecake because i was feeling like some dessert um it's only like a minute or two away so it's gonna be a quick drive i'm still wearing my comfy because you know curbside pickup but definitely need the pick me up and a two minute break just got this beauty look at her i've never tried the mango key lime cheesecake so really excited to try this one and will be a good pick me up um for the day it's actually been a pretty good day it's been pretty chill it's 10 08 um central so the night is still young and i'm probably jinxing myself but things have been good so far um if they stay pretty low-key like it is right now i'm probably gonna spend some like an hour or so doing some training videos um just to keep on top of things and make sure I feel comfortable with my finance stuff. If you're interested in learning more about ways you can like get up to speed, like technically with your technical skills and finance skills, let me know. Cause that's definitely something I was worried about coming from not a finance or accounting background going into investment banking. So that's something I definitely have some thoughts on. Um, but yeah, let me know if that's something you're interested in. So I am not at all a coconut person. And there's like a coconut macaron graham cracker crust or something like that. But this slaps. Like, wow. I need to put you down because I need to eat this properly. Wow. I'm going to eat my cheesecake. Do some training videos. Um, keep an eye on my work email. Always, you know, checking that work email. It's been 10 minutes. So let's check again. Looks pretty good. And then if I don't get anything else by like 12.30 or one, my go ahead and call it a night. So let's see how the night goes. Hello party people, it's 1.30 Central, 2.30 Eastern. Um, I was keeping an eye on my work emails and I did have a few things come in, but nothing too serious or any, anything crazy. Overall, pretty chill and easy day. Um, definitely one of the easier days I would say that I've had recently, which is nice. So I, was, I had time to record this. This has been super fun. And if you're interested in seeing more of my content, please do comment and subscribe also check out some of my other videos if you want to see me pranking my parents about a tattoo i got you can look here and if you're interested in seeing a never have i ever with my dad you can click here